In this week's video, we'll give you some tips and tricks about how to use one of the coolest CAD simulation tools ever created. I'm talking about Discovery Live. It is a low cost, real time, upfront simulation tool for CAD designers and engineers. It lets engineers and designers perform real time, fluid, structural, and thermal simulations. This helps people like you validate design exploration options and changes. After watching this video, you can download a free trial, see use cases and other tutorials on the Discovery Forum. Links are in the description below. Now, let's take a look as Todd Kraft shows you the ins and outs of this new amazing tool. Hello everyone, this is a tip of the week by EAC. My name is Todd Kraft and we're going to go through Discovery Live today. Discovery Live is real-time simulation, a new product by Ansys. And just to get you started here, this is the, the landing page of, of this, uh, this product. So if you want to do, for example, some of these uh, samples, you can click on the sample. And then it will load the geometry set for you. And then all you have to do at that point is go ahead and say, I want to do a fluid flow, maybe an external flow. And say create, just tell it the direction, and then on the ground. And then the rest will be actually created for you. So very simple way to get started. You can use the structural models, the fluid models. There's lots of videos out there for Discovery Live, but I wanted to give you a few tips here uh, to help you get started. One is the under the forum here, there is uh, some great functionality or fu uh, features and, and information under here. Um, I have a, a web page already set up here. So there, this is the community forum, so you can look at all the different topics. You can ask questions, uh, get free trials here. Uh, this is where you download the, 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 the software as well. Uh, from the EAC website, that's the best place to, to go to, to get started, um, to, to actually start a trial and, and get started on our website. Um, then you can become a EAC customers that way. You can submit some ideas. You can look at the knowledge base. All the functionality and, and questions you have are under this, this, this community forum. So let's go ahead and show you a few other tips here. One is that you do have to have uh, a closed uh, body. So for example, here I have an open body there. So if I started to do this, it wouldn't work because I have a gap in there. So um, if you're used to this function of uh, this, this uh, technique here, of moving walls inside a space claim. Here I just want to pick this surface there and I'm going to click on the P button and then I'm going to say up to that surface right there. So I close that gap. Then I can say create solution. This is going to be a fluid flow internal this time. Hit create. I pick over here, left mouse button. And over here I have my outlets. If I use my control key, I can uh, swap them from input to output. I'm just going to pick on output though and output here. And then here's our transient three dimensional fluid flow. Now, uh, a few things as well here. I can also add, maybe I want to add over here a, a temperature, okay, of that block. Let's say it's 100 degrees, okay. Now, what happened was when I created this when I created the fluid body over here on the top right, I have a volume there that is the fluid body. I can turn that on or off. All right. So if I leave it on, uh, let's just go ahead and leave it on now. What I can do as well is I can do, like right now I have a velocity and I can change that velocity over here, maybe make that two meters per second. Let it keep going. Um, I can also toggle this and look at just the, the thermal flow as well. And the way to do, to do that is I have to right click on the body and say, set it as a smart fluid body. Okay, that's one step that people don't know they have to do. And now once I do that, I can change this and just look at the temperature. All right, so let's go from velocity to temperature and there's our temperature flow. All right. So one of the things about Discovery Live that's, that's awesome is your, your graphs and your charts. Um, one recommendation, when you do make a chart, you do want to say, um, click on this More button here, and it gives you many more options 
maybe like temp I want temperature um, in uh, let's do the mean temperature at a face at a probe and I can give it a, a name here you know face temp select pick on that face here and then the check mark appears on the top left and now I have a, a, a temperature over there on that face and that'll keep on changing while it's solving okay so a couple things there I wanted to show you next let's go to this model here and just a few tips on just the the geometry engine here that's uh, space claim that's built discovery space claim here um, one thing is that the P button will always give you a a pull so you can always pull a, a wall like that okay and then you also have the M button so if I wanted to move for example I can grab all that geometry and I can say M to move it now I can move that body around okay so M and P are very popular to use let's go ahead and uh, do one more thing I must click on the C it's a circle pick on that face and then that's not right I want to um, get in the middle there and pick on my circle and then I'll click on the P button grab that face and just drag it through like that now let's go ahead and create a solution this is going to be a structural steel we'll say structural and steel yes okay and now we're ready to go now I'm gonna set up on here I'm gonna say this is gonna be my force and down here on the bottom left I'm gonna say extraction let's say you know 50 newtons and then on the bottom here is our displacement. And then we should, should, should get a result right away uh, as this solves. Click on the green arrow there. And then we'll have a, a solution. So this is the, the first solution. Uh, what I want to do is I want to graph this. I'm going to say max stress on a volume. Hit create. And then I have my little graph up here. And I can discover, you know, if I want to say P, P button, and maybe make this face a little bigger, you know, does that make my stress go down or up on my graph okay it should go down a little bit okay now a couple more things I want to do here um, I want to do a few things I want to change some geometry but I don't I don't want it to update every time so I can pause this okay which is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna turn this off I'm gonna just pick on the P button here pick on that edge and that edge and say copy edges and then drag those in. Pick on the P button and drag this out a little bit. Whoops. The P button. Always undo is, is a nice thing to do. Let's start that over. Copy edge. Grab those in like that. And then the P button. And I want to pick that face and move it out. And then we'll pick on the M button and grab that that edge and move that edge out like that. And now we want to resume. And now that we've changed the geometry, we should get a little update here as well. And the, the stress should uh, should update in our graph. Okay, so um, just a, one more thing that's, that's nice to do. Like I can do, a, again, a window like that. I want to just grab that one piece of geometry like that right there. I'm going to say, um, use the control key, and that will make a copy of it like that. And that's a nice thing to, to learn how to do as well. So those are a few tips. Hope that you learned a few things there. And uh, thanks for joining us with this tip of the week. If you're already using Discovery Live, I hope this video showed you some helpful picks and options. If you aren't, I hope it blew your mind, a little bit anyways. Visit the link in the description to learn more and start a free trial. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and give us a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments section below. I'll talk to you soon.